here's the data from the case. So the company provides you 300 days of demand data. Okay, so these are the days and the demand on those days. Also, it provides you the lead time information. Okay, the record, the, the historical lead time for 50 orders. Okay, the lead time can be anywhere from one day to three days. Now we're going to use those two data to construct the distribution for demand and lead time. Let me start with demand. First of all, we need to identify the possible demand. Okay, there are many ways. And by the way, there are many ways to identify the distribution. We introduce different ways in another video. One of the way is to do this. I'm going to use filter to see what are the possible demand. It can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so I know these are the possible demand outcomes. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now I need to count. Let me count how many of the records have a demand of 0, have a demand of 1, so on so forth. Fourth, okay, frequency. I'm going to count using the function called frequency. To use this function, you select all of these cells, go to here, type in equal to frequency. First input, input data array, that's the source of the data. It's basically the entire column C, because column C only contains demand, so I can simply click on this to select the whole column. If this column also contains some other numbers, other information then you probably don't do that you will simply select all the all, all the cells second input beans array that is simply these numbers close it here's the part you you need to be careful you do not just hit enter right now what you do is holding control shift and then enter so you have all the frequencies here now, you know what, let me add a map using sum to add up all the frequencies to find out how many records do I have in column B. Okay, I, ha I have 300 numbers. So the probability for each possible demand outcome is simply the frequency divided by the total number of record. I am going to put dollar signs here to fix a reference to this cell. Now I can drag down this cell to copy the formula. Here you go, I have the probabilities for possible daily demand. Now let me move on to lead time. Basically it's the same process. Let me start off by, from identifying the possible lead times. Select this cell, go to filter. Now click on here. Okay, I see that there are only three possible values for lead time, one, two, and three days. Let me cancel the filter. Okay, let me build it here. Zero, sorry, it's one, two, and three days. These are the possible lead time values, frequency. Now, let me count how many records do I have one day lead time. For example, you select these three cells, go here, equal to frequency. Let me select this whole column. I want to identify number of records from that whole column. Second input, the beans array that's just here. Close it. Now again, control, shift, enter. Here you go. Let me add them up, sum, add up all the counts. So I know, I realize that I have 50 entries of data here. Now I can move on to find out the probability of each possible lead time. Probability is just number of frequency, number of observation divided by total number of observ observations. I'm going to fix a reference by putting the dollar sign. Okay, fix a reference to I15. Now I can drag this down and that's a probability. Finally, I can do one more thing. I can find out the cumulative probability as well. 
which is just the total probability up to this point. So the first for first one, first possible outcome, it's just the probability its own probability. Starting on from next, this is just the sum of these two numbers, which is the same as this plus this. For next one, the cumulative probability is the sum of these three numbers or it is the same as this plus this. So basically we can copy the formula here going forward and that's it. Likewise for here, cumulative probability. For the first one, it's just its own probability. Going forward, it's probability plus cumulative probability of the previous outcome. Okay, here we go. 